Oh hi, I'm just looking at some external storage on my computer. A lot of us are used to using USB sticks like this one, quite nice this, it's a Kingston 256 gigabytes. Not bad at all. But if you want some real external storage, then I suggest we go to an external SSD like this. This is the Crucial, it's nice and fast, and as you can see it's two terabytes, so it's eight of these sticks. I find it pretty fast, you just plug in USB-C, plug this into the computer, and it fires it automatically. It's important to do research, get a good brand, because the speed these work at can vary a lot. But uh, I find this really compact and really useful compared to carrying eight of these. So, a good idea. Anyway, if you've been here before, then welcome back. Always good to see old friends, as I always say. Uh, if you're coming back again, it looks like we're doing the right thing for you. If it's your first time here, then welcome. Really good to meet new people, make new friends, as ever. Have a look around the site, look at the other videos, see if the thing's interesting, like them, share them with your friends if you think they're interesting for them and please do subscribe to the site as i said in the earlier videos we're getting quite a lot of subscriptions now and quite a lot of people uh giving us traction so if we can keep building up and telling other people about it that would be absolutely fantastic anyway today we're going to be looking at uh, how to extend your home network so that everywhere in the house you can pick up a signal from the internet so let's get started so why should we be concerned about extending network through the house after all, we've got a router from my internet provider. Isn't it going to be good enough? Well, no, for a number of reasons. One is, you've got a router in a central location, then it's going to be hampered by the range it's got, and most routers provided by uh, internet suppliers aren't always that good. Secondly, you've ha we have found that we haven't got enough connections, or we have a poor Wi-Fi connectivity. And frankly, these days, nearly everything is going to need an internet connection. Uh, it's just going that way. So, what can we do about it? Can we improve it? Yes, we can. There's three methods that we can use. The simplest is a range extender like this. It plugs into the wall, turns on, it picks up the signal from the router and retransmits it, and then sends the signal back again to the router. On some of them, you can plug a cable in for wired devices, such as this, plug into there, and then with this cable, you can have a wired device if you haven't got Wi-Fi on your desktop or something like that. Okay. Thing is, though, it needs a decent signal. It's an extender, so yes, it will take things further, but if you're having problems getting a pulse signal because of your walls or something like that, then it's not going to be all that helpful. And it's also probably best to use only one to avoid things confusing. Uh, they're not really designed to have a number of units. Again, as I said, they're not very good at strengthening wall penetration. And like most devices, there's no what we call pass-through. There's no socket on the front. So what's happening is you're using a complete electrical socket just for this. So, may not be a great answer, but it is the cheapest and possibly the simplest to use. Another system we can use is called Mesh. This is the BT whole home unit, actually. Okay, there's, I have three of these in my network. And what it does is it provides its own Wi-Fi network around the house. One unit plugs into the router. The other units pick the signal up and retransmit it via whatever they think is the best route. Okay? So it has multiple units. It's got a very good transmission of signal because it works out the best route. So if you've got thick walls and a big problem like that, this can be a good way of doing things. And like this one, you can plug Ethernet cable into the back. So if you haven't got uh, Wi-Fi on your computer or whatever, then you can use this and the cable. Okay? The good thing is it's got much better penetration and much better transmission of signal. I use these so I've got them in the dining room. I can sit at the bottom of the garden and get good fast Wi-Fi. So a pretty neat unit. The third solution is called is Powerline or more known as Home Plug. These are some Home Plug units here. Okay. One unit plugs into the router. The other units, so you can have a number of units, plug into sockets around the house. Also on most units, you can plug things in. This one's actually got four on each end, which is pretty good if you need that. And others come with the Wi-Fi. This particular one doesn't have Wi-Fi, but you can you can have some of the Wi-Fi. Now, again, a bit like the range extender, some of them don't have pass-through, so a lot of them do. It's worth paying the extra. Okay, They're quite big units, but uh, you can plug something out in the front of them so you're not actually using up a socket. Some disadvantages uh, is that they only work on the same electrical circuit. So if you've got something behind the Kashimi unit, what most people call a fuse board, it's not going to jump through that to something else. 
And we also find sometimes that if they're plugged into four-way sockets or five-way sockets, gank sockets, extension sockets, then again, they're not going to work particularly well because they're relying on the electrical current to pass a signal around the house. But pretty effective on the whole. So what do I do? When I want Wi-Fi, I'm using my mesh system here, which works very, very well. But uh, when I want to have something cable, for example, when I'm running things down to my television or my DVI unit, then I'm going to use HomePlug because I find that's quite a bit more reliable. And these days you can get it very, very fast. So, three ways to extend network around the house. As ever, I've really enjoyed making this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like it. Share it with others to give them the advice and subscribe so you know when more videos are coming out. And the next time we'll be looking at a variation on this called mobile broadband for when you're out and about. So thanks for watching. Bye.